Hey guys, I'm Phoenix here and welcome to a mysterious briefcase. This is probably ticking, so um, let's have a look at it. So the game is called Wrong Wire. This is an introversion prototype. Uh, something that they showcased as something that they might work on at some point, and they may still work on it, who knows. But uh, Scanner Somber was the first one that they, first prototype that they started working on. And, you know, we might see this uh, pop up at some point. It's a rather nice little bomb defusal game. And it uses some very sort of simple concepts, but it also uses... It's, they're a little bit more intelligently diffused. So we're going to do the suitcase bomb today. This is the third one. So let's just flip up these latches. And as you can see, we have a bomb. Now, we've got a thumbprint scanner, which doesn't do anything because my thumbprint isn't in the scanner. We have a keypad, which if we punch in the numbers randomly, it will just eventually explode. And we have a few tools. Let's start by using the drill. Pop this off. And here we have more circuitry. Uh, three claymores hooked up to a detonator circuit with an uh, with a timer so that would set off that probably and then incorrect keypad entries or cutting of any of these wires will set off that um, and also cutting of any of these wires will set off those claymores we can just restart so as you can see you have to work around the bomb and you have to work um, so obviously we have a, we need to get into this bit anyway because we can't really do anything with this. If we open that, the bomb will go off because of the little um, switch there. Uh, if we cut any of these wires, the bomb will go off. So we have right next to it us some presumably unknown, oh probably a terrorist, and he has a thumb that we need. So if I just select him. Yeah, the game is, well, as I said, is a prototype, so sometimes you can get the thumb in one go, sometimes you can't. No, 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 why are you doing that? There we go, we've got a thumb now. And if we then take the thumb and put it on the thumb scanner, get access and something has just happened so it's now asking us to enter the code so we've got this EP ROM reader if you plug it into that we get a list of all these codes now I know this bomb you get three tries and then the bomb will explode so we can't just go through all of these numbers hoping that one of them will do it Instead, we have to plug it into the EP ROM reader. Taking the thumb, which we acquired earlier from this helpful fellow beside us, we can see that the identity is GAL. So we then plug that into there. GAL 7257. 7257. And that allows us to open that up and defeat the bomb. So detonate the diffusal. Bring the drill down because we don't need that one. Um, we need that one. We know that this bomb has a type C detonator. We can see where the pins are. Uh, this type B one is actually flipped by 90 degrees which uh, can be a little bit confusing. But uh, yeah, so we know that this is a type C detonator. And we need to cut the power line, nothing else, just the power one. So we need to cut blue. And that's the bomb diffused. And yeah. There is another one. Um, so there, there are four, four in total. The fourth one feels a little incomplete. Um, but I thought that the suitcase bomb was a perfect example of something that. Um, well, what this game could potentially be, you know, something that's a little bit more complicated and a little bit more intelligent 
than other sort of bomb diffusal games which work more on puzzles rather than logic. Um, this is a sort of a bit of a mix of both. You do have to work around um, the, the tools that you have available and the people you have available. So with that I'll say thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.